What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new series we're starting here on the channel for NHL 24, the latest installment from EA Sports. Uh, and I got to admit, it's been probably five or six years since I've really played an NHL game. I used to play them all the time with my friends, both, uh, you know, be a pro career, uh, franchise mode, EA SHL, all the things you can think of. But because I have pretty much completely switched to a PC for the last X amount of years, Unfortunately, this is one of the few sports games that's not available on PC, so I haven't been able to play the last few games. Uh, but as you can see behind me, I finally got my hands on a PS5. Finally, I've been it's been years hunting it down. And on top of that, I was able to grab the Spider-Man 2 uh, bundle. So it looks great. Uh, and now we're just going back and playing all the PS5 games I missed, uh, including picking up the latest edition of this game. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I haven't played them in quite some time. So this whole new be a pro career chapter uh, experience is going to be new to me. I, I know a lot of people are complaining that the be a pro uh, wasn't touched for this game, but there's so many gameplay changes uh, that this version 24 offers, including a lot of goalie changes and something that I must state right at the beginning is I used to play goalie all the time, online, offline. Uh, so we're going to kick things off with a goalie career, brand new adventure here. Uh, and we're going to see if we can make it as a full-time goalie and eventually win the Stanley Cup. Um, I don't know really what to expect. I haven't. I, this is all new to me. I have no idea what's happening right now. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into this Be A Pro goalie career. NHL Super Agent Taylor Mackey joins us here on the line who represents the hottest, most anticipated prospect in years. Taylor, give us some 411 on the kid here. Hey, morning, James. Well, look, you may not believe this, but the kid's up here on Carter Lake. What? Playing pickup. Yeah, with a bunch <laughs> of other kids. Just, it's a beautiful day. Pricey pond hockey you got going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. But look, that's how much this kid loves the game, man. Well, just safety first up there now of course i, I gotta ask you we, we've seen the scouting reports we've seen the highlights but we know about the player but tell me more about the person what's this rookie really like yeah sure james uh, let's begin by telling your listeners oh here we go so man. diving right into care i've already gone ahead and created uh, a pro that i can use in offline online so it, it's great that it imports it i don't have to bore you guys with all this as you can see, I'm wearing my Leafs gear. Yes, I am a Leafs fan. You can berate me in the comments. I'll accept a certain amount, but I will not be swayed from my favorite team. They start tonight against the Montreal Canadiens. We got to see Connor Bedard and a few other teams start last night. I thought he had a really good uh, really good start to his career. Uh, he was entertaining to watch. The second period was, was awesome. I'm not going to worry about changing my pads right now until we figure out what team, you know, we're on. Uh, it's going to change anyway. Uh, sure. Let's go into archetype. Uh, I used to play as a hybrid goalie. I think that's what I'm going to play in this one as well. I, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I used to be a pretty solid goalie. Uh, that's used to, was, keyword was. Uh, I haven't played these games in a long time, so I, I don't expect to be that great anymore. Uh, well, I wonder if they still have Connor on, because this would be his draft year. They do. Let's jump into the Pats. So we'll play on the Pats team here. I'm not going to play any of these games. Sorry if you guys wanted to watch the Memorial Cup. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, we are playing on Pro, by the way. I will switch that up to All-Star and eventually Superstar. Again, brand new game. Haven't played in like five, six years. So the new goalie mechanics are going to take a while to get used to. They did change a lot from what I understand. So we're going to have to figure that all out and get accustomed to that before I switch off of Pro. So if you're wondering why I'm on a lower difficulty, it's goalie. Get, give, me a, give me a give me a chance to learn it. Cup than a guy who's actually hoisted the trophy. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is here is we are actually going to skip yeah, the entirety what of a, what an awesome time this tournament. I, I know that might Both sound weird, but I've done this really so many times. Time this this doesn't change. This this is the same stuff every year. Although we look pretty good in the Regina Pats colors. Long weeks has made it. I'm gonna turn down the volume here because Ray is just talking our ears off. Tournament is your shot. The NHL. Okay. Uh, we'll be a team player. Uh, team's been working really hard. Go all out for the tournament. Uh, couldn't have done it without them. Support and guidance. So I'm happy with you being my agent here, brother. Uh, we're going to skip. We're going to sim it and see where we get placed. Uh, even if I played, I don't expect to go first overall as a goalie anyway. So playing it really doesn't offer too much value other than maybe gets me some, uh, some nice points, some nice, you know, skill tree stuff. Looks like we lost 0-3, which is obviously not great, but at the end of the day, 
And not the performance you expect to see. That's fine. You know, I'm crushed. I let everybody down. Don't take it too hard. I want to make sure I have a really strong foundation for the next time I'm on the ice. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll skim through all this and, and just see where we get placed. I, there's not a lot of teams out there that are looking for a starting goalie. Uh, we wouldn't be a starting goalie as like a 65 to 70 overall. Anywho. But we'll sim through this and just... Uh, there's got to be a way to sim to the next big moment, right? Sim to the next big event. So 69 overall. Not a bad 886 for simming isn't terrible. It's not ideal, but it's it's not terrible. All right, Michael, I'm getting worried about you. You're not shining in the draft rankings. Tell me the damage. Hate to say it, but you're ranked 145th. Hey, that's all right. I hate this. I know I could do better. <laughs> that's fully what I expected was to be somewhere down in, in the lower lower rounds. But this is what's exciting. You get to pick a... It just picks a team for you. You're not picking a team for yourself. Uh, and you're just going to go out there and see who the hell decides to take a chance on a goalie. Still got the pads colors on. I like that jersey. I've got one last update on draft rank. I don't like the look on your face. Is it that bad? 145th. Okay, so we know we're going 145th. Around 145th. I don't know if we'll have any conversation with teams. Do they do that in this game? Alright, so we know Bedard's going first overall. Do conversation with LA? I could, I could hit up LA. I'd be okay with LA. We gotta shine here. Interviews. Coming out of the combine okay. this past weekend, the Los Angeles Your teammates Chiefs invite you out, but you may not make care for you if you go. Do you go with them? As long as I can do it responsibly. Now, Great to see you take your preparation like, seriously. How do you spend your free time before games? I try to relax. I don't want to waste energy. Persuade. I eat right and get some rest, but I don't sit around. I watch highlights of previous games to see what I did right. Now, we're going to stick with the team aspect. We're a goalie. I can't be a superstar and then be... I, I'm not even going to get a number of starts this season, so I can't be a, an egghead. I sure hope so. I've always tried to do whatever I could to help my team. Thanks for having me. All right, so we've met with LA, so it's looking like we could be with LA. You never know. I would be perfectly happy. Who's their goalie? Copland? Is that the goalie for LA right now? Because Quick is with the Rangers. I think he's with the Rangers. So we only met with one team. So it's looking like LA might take the chance on us. And I'd be I'd be down to play out in California. Let's, uh, let's dive into it. See where we get drafted, ladies and gentlemen. That's cool. Again, I know a number of you guys were pissed that they didn't change anything about the, the Be a Pro game. But... We're way down there, baby. Give me, give me, give me the third round, fourth round. Los Angeles, 150. Let's go, baby. We are officially an LA king. All right, you look good in that jersey, baby. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We'll work our way up. They actually are a team that could use a goalie, and in a year or two, they could use a pretty good goalie. All right, we're gonna simulate to the next season. Then we're gonna put some skill points in. Look at Ray this! What a stud! Show. Man, that's gotta be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted and hearing his name called. Uh, better than that, James. It's a realization, really, of a lifelong dream. I mean, since he's a little kid, he's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL. Eventually, we'll work our way towards being an, NA or now, an the NHL. Uh, that Toronto Maple Leafs. Is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed, he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, oh it's up there. Hoping, but, you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness. I like that they got Ray Ferraro. Like, I could care less about James Sabalski. He's got such a this. crazy it's voice. He gets way too excited. That you can have but you love Ray Ferraro. 69 overall. 
sign our first contract. Oh, Michael, we met a few weeks ago on behalf of the entire organization. Perfect. We want to watch you. How would you describe yourself? Team player. I'm just going to pick all the team player stuff. I guess that's not a signing yet. Maybe we already signed. I'm not sure. Got some points for our teammates there. Officially an LA King. I like that. I like that as our first... Uh, our first. Uh, that's Honestly, as a be a pro goalie, probably couldn't have found much of a better team just because they are in need of, of long-term goalies. Maybe we can build a future here. Maybe we can win a cup eventually. I like the team they got. Even though it's your sixth round, sixth round, you're on your way to the NHL. How does that feel? I got picked. Now I need to earn a spot. Looking forward. Do you expect a lot of... T I, I mean... Get back to the kid here for a I second. want ice time, but it's up to the you coach, baby. I can't, I can't make my, I can't, I can't give myself ice time. I gotta, I gotta get out there in the preseason and earn it. I'm, I'm anxious to get on the ice and just try the new controls. I think the highest I got rated once as a goalie was like sixth overall in all of the EASHL, and I'm not, not to my own horn, but I was pretty solid. I had like 700 wins. Pretty good. I was pretty good, but was is again the key key thing. Here we go. Entry level contract, eight point point eight five milli for three years. We'll take that. Now we got a good contract under us. Let's get let's get this show on the road. The opening night roster management would love to see it, and I know the kid has every intention of trying to crack it too. All right, we got some skill trees points. This is all new. I have no idea. Okay, puck control, athletic, dialogue. We definitely need to get some reflexes going. So maybe we throw positions allow you break away in angles. Five hole, love high, stick high. Uh, let's put one into this. Put a couple, just get, get just get these trees kicked off. Hot control, I don't think really is. Allow you to poise, rebound, control. Rebound control is important. Passing, poke check. I don't care about that. Let's put a point into this. Okay, athletic, dependent, allows you to upgrade your durability, aggressiveness, agility, speed. Vision's always a good one to put points into, or was when I used to play. And I think we'll do speed, because I know these starting goalies can be pretty damn slow, especially cross crease and, and stuff like that. You're going to want to be quick. I think that boosted us to a 70. Look like it did. But we're going to have to pick some new pads. We're going to have to get going. And I've got another skill point. You'll love to see that. Okay, so we could start putting some points into this. Rebound control is going to be huge in this game, I feel. Rebound control, resiliency, recovery. I think we're going to put a lot of points into this tree. This tree, I feel like it's going to be real. Like this whole new system again, I didn't play 23, I didn't play 22. So I'm just going off what I've seen from 24. Rebounds and things like that are going to be a... Oh, God. We got to start against Edmonton. Please don't play your entire lineup. Um, okay, cool. So let's uh, edit player. Let's get a new helmet on. A new bucket. And we got to... We actually got to play these preseasons in earnest spot because there's... Yeah, it's got us as the uh, the rain there. The Ontario rain. Yeah. We're, we're, we're earning a spot here. Okay, that got some good buckets in this game. Let's see. That's not bad. Ooh. Ooh. I like that one. Yeah, we're going to use this one. Uh, okay. Now let's pick some pads. If they got my OG back in the day that I used to use. Oh, they sure do. We're going to keep the colors because we're black and white. That's what's, that's what's nice about LA is you don't really have to, <laughs> you don't really have to go out of your way to pick colors because it's, it's just the black and white. I like LA's jersey. It's a it's a little basic, but I mean we should have the option for the purple and gold one too. It should be an option. All right, now that we got pads and stuff out of the way, let's save that and we're gonna dive into our first preseason game here as an LA King. Headed out, battling it. I, I don't I don't even know if the coach is gonna give me any time as a starting goalie, so we might just be playing a period here or there. Oops. Let's. Let's simulate to the next preseason game and see if we get the call. 71 overall, kicking things off. I like I like my odds. Well, we're definitely going to play on a quick because if we're playing a full game, it's... Uh... Oh, and they got their superstars out to play tonight. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to see how... Uh... 
We're going to see how we, we handle the, the pressure of our first NHL game. Going up against Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers. It's going to be a test, baby. All right, let's kick it off. And we are starting the game. Oh my God, we're getting the nod against Edmonton. Here we go. Let me just quickly turn down the volume because I can already tell this is way too loud. And we make a save off Connor McDavid right off the rip. Let's go, baby. So I've been, I watched a few videos just to get kind of my head around to the new controls for goalie. One thing that I think is going to be hardest for me to wrap my head around is they have a new mechanic that gets you pulled back to center. So like what I mean is if I go forward like this and let go, it pulls you all the way back to center of the net, but on the goal line. And to me, that's a little weird because there's times where I want to stay out here or play the top of my crease for like long shots it's always it automatically you can't turn it off pulls you back to the goal line which seems a little counterproductive <laughs> seems like it goes against everything that made playing goalie unique so that's going to take some not that it's a bad change necessarily but it's going to take some time and the second thing is when i used to play left and right bumper were a uh, hug post it auto hugs post now and then pulls you back to the middle so it's it's gonna take some time to get used to it I don't even understand what this screen is. Uh, maybe that's like anticipating where a save's going to go. But I, I've played a lot of NHL as goalie, so I got to think it's not going to take too long to get my, my bearings, but I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a fun series. Ooh, nice little rip there. Bounce off. Who, who's in that there? Is that uh, Campbell? Looks like Soupy. Yeah, Holloway coming down. Ryan, he's going to take a shot. Oh my gosh, that is the weirdest animation to clear the puck. Why didn't I just use my stick? Holy jumpins. <laughs> All right. Just looking for a nice, calm, straightforward game. We don't need to, we don't need a shutout. We don't need to make 50 saves. Let's just get in and get out cleanly. Nice little animation there for a big hit. I don't know LA's team, like a, a lot of the changes. They, I know they made some changes. They got uh, they got Dubois, which was their big, big acquisition of the year, which I think he'll actually do good there. He struggled in Winnipeg. Look at this little play. Look at this play. Oh man. Oh, it's fancy. It's not even... So they don't even have a starting goalie in, in that. Giving the kid a chance. I like it. I like it. That's a big first line to bring into the first preseason game. Yeah, McDavid, Hyman, and freaking... I don't even know who the third guy is. It's not Drysaddle, is it? No, Drysaddle doesn't play with McDavid a lot. Another big save. Is it Yamamoto? What a series! And all of a sudden, you can see my... So, pressure being a new big system they added into NHL 24. It also affects goalies. You can see my, my stamina bar at the bottom there was pretty much completely drained. But that is a series of really, really good uh, saves that we needed to kickstart this game. Get our, get our feet wet. Feel the new system. Also, first time I'm playing on a PlayStation controller. I used to play on an Xbox. Man, they got the stars out. Bouchard. Nurse. It's a big, another big glove save there. On Zadorov. One thing that I've noticed very early, I played one practice game as a forward before I started this goalie. So this is the first time I'm playing goalie. But I've noticed that the dump-ins, or like dump-a-puck, self-dumps, whatever you want to call them, don't really seem fast or effective. Is that something they've changed for this game? Let me know in the comments, because again, I didn't play 23, 20. I think the last one I played was 2018, maybe 2019. I, I owned 20, like NHL 20, but I don't think I played it very much. Um, it seems like they're very slow and sluggish. Like I'm, load, I'm noticing that the computers carry the puck out more rather than dump and chase, like ever, uh, even on like the penalty kill. So let me know, is that something that they nice dive and play there? Ooh, we got our first power play. Or was that, a, was that us that tripped? I may have been us that tripped. Oh, no. 
So an Edmonton power play here early. Nine minutes and 39 seconds left in the first period. Or, I guess, into the first period. We're gonna... No left. So under, under 10 minutes left, we got our first chance of a penalty kill against a very talented Edmonton lineup. Nice, nice save there on Holloway. And as a young rookie goalie, our stamina bar is draining really fast. So that's why I think that, you know, the the conditioning and reflexes is going to be a very big stat dump early for me. Beautiful short-handed goal. What an absolute monster of a slap shot. Yes, Blissfield with a little cannon after a nice pass back in front there. Woo-wee. Short-handed goal against Edmonton here. What a clapper just trickles through the young goaltender. You love to see that. That helps us. That helps us a lot. Anything the team can put on the board to help us early will uh, just cement the confidence even more. Beautiful, beautiful slapper. I'm not sure the crowd would be this full for a preseason game. The EA likes to pack the crowd. Oh, man, we got the pressure going here. The top line for Edmonton on this power play. Struggling to get any sort of zone pressure here. We got a minute 17 left on the power play. Litchfield with a beautiful goal there. Brings it back in. Back in front. They are looking for that cross play. Back in front clapper that they just scored on. McDavid. God, anytime he touches the puck, I'm going to be scared. And we got another penalty here. So a five on three. That's not what you like to see when Connor McDavid is on the ice. Yeah, that's a nice little shot of the new visuals. Dubois, penalty kill roll. Wait, he's not even on the ice. <laughs> Beats me short side. Just that, That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the automatic hug the post is, is going to be really difficult. Because for me, I pressed the left bumper to hug the post there, and it did nothing. Like, I would have hugged the post there, and he probably wouldn't. I don't want to say probably wouldn't have beat me. It was a really nice shot by Yamamoto there. But, like, I went for the glove save, whereas in old NHLs, I would have just hugged the post and just played the rebound. Just things we got to get used to. That's why we play preseason. That's why we warm up. It's a power play goal. I mean, it's it's on the team for taking some early penalties. All right, Zach Hyman coming in. Nice little play there to break that play up. Yeah, that just seems so slow and ineffective. But a nice play by Anderson Dolan here. Right side. And he gets absolutely flattened by Darnell Nurse. Oh, my gosh. These new mega hits that they got in the game are going to be very, very powerful. There we go. Nice save. Come, come to the front of the crease. Little glove save. Back on track. So, 1-1 hockey game here. 7 minutes, 42 seconds. Penalties are over, I believe. And, yeah, that's a big hit. Whew. I like the little animations. I think they all look really great. All the paint into the, the ice to show, you know, who's up against who. It showed Dubois there twice. No, he's not playing. Whew. Blocker saved there in front. I got to turn off James Sabalski. He's going a little too ham for my liking. I'm really not a fan. Of, they got Cheryl Pounder, which I don't mind. Uh, I think she's great for color commentary. Uh... Not a fan of James Sabalski, and that's nothing against him. It's just as a commentator, he gets really excited to talks like that. And it's like, and he does it for every single play in these NHL games. And it's like, hey, bro, that's a little too much. I've watched so many videos of, of NHL previous games. So we're still on the penalty kill here, but we're doing a nice job. I'd much rather just have my own commentary and, and talking about the game rather than hearing... James freak out constantly. Shoot it! Why'd you wait? Why'd you wait? That was a perfect opportunity there, and he just took too long. So six minutes left in the first period here. Penalties are pretty much over at this point. Did a good job on that second penalty kill. We got, what, five seconds left. We'll hop it, hop out of the box and be back on even strength. Ryan. Holloway back to Ryan. Yeah, just getting used to these controls. I, I don't hate them. It's just like I I wish the hug a post was still there. That was my bread and butter, baby. Oh, we got a power play now. So some early penalties here in the game. Lots of penalties early. We might have to adjust the sliders. EA. 
Uh, something that I know you used to be bad at was getting the sliders for penalties wrong, but we already have three penalties here in the early goings of our preseason game number one. Yeah, I like I can hold it there if I just hold against the post, but it, I, it just feels weird that it just automatically does it. Oh, beautiful play. Beautiful play, and we get a very, very quick power play goal there. 2-1 hockey game. We make quick work of that power play. Oh, Dubois is playing. I wonder why I showed him on the ice when he wasn't on the ice. What a beautiful passing play. You can see this one developing. Gets back in the middle for Dubois and just sneaks it on the post side. Short side. I wonder what kind of uh, cheesy goals he got in this game. I, Toe drag, I got to assume, is still in it. I mean, that's been the game since I started playing back in NHL 12. A little toe drag cheese. All right, well, McDavid early hasn't really shown any of his speed or flashiness that, you know, you're used to seeing him bring right to the beginning of, of a season. Nurse up to Yamamoto. Nice little toe drag around, but lost the puck to Lee. I'm going to have to learn this LA Kings lineup. I, I'm assuming we don't have the full lineup yet. If we do, I don't know half these guys. Turco, no. No. Oh, you can't have the full lineup. I mean, we're missing guys like uh, Kopitar and uh, who else they got? <laughs> I know some guys. I just can't think of them right now. All right, Zach Hyman down the right side. Gets absolutely crunched against the boards. Back to Lee. Scaring me a little bit. Minute 20 seconds left on the clock in period number one. McDavid loses the puck. Back to Darnell, and here we go. This looks like a chance brewing. Yamamoto just losing the puck. Every time they cross the line, our defense are doing a really nice job of just standing these guys up, bouncing them off the puck a little bit. Ooh, a nice little bang. Crashes into the net. So this new pressure system, I'm sure you guys are aware of it, but it, it's it's kind of an interesting idea. You know, if you keep... That's actually not a bad model for Zach Hyman. Um, you can see the, the bar fill up. If you get it full, you get pressure. You're, the the opposis, opposition gets tired. The goalie gets tired. That's where you just want to fire on now. I mean, I know I'm not playing forward, so it's kind of just watching computers do whatever the hell they want. But the new pressure system, that is like a big feature that they really highlighted in this year's game. I think the idea is cool. I think it could use some polish work. Um, not a bad first period. I mean, 2-1 hockey game, capitalized on the power play. They capitalized on the power play. We got 40 minutes of hockey left. We'll see if, I mean, we just got to stay confident. It's preseason. We could get yanked after after half the game so just keep trying to make some saves impress the coach a little bit be interested to see Dubois see how well he actually does I think this will be a good spot for him like I said he he struggled McDavid tried going blocker side nice save there I think he struggled out in Winnipeg I don't think he really found his footing another glove save let's play this puck but out in somewhere like LA where the spotlight's a little quieter, you know, Winnipeg's not like a Toronto spotlight. Wow, what a clapper. I think I think he'll thrive there. I think uh, I think he'll find his footing. I like that. I mean, you can't really read it because of the glare, but I do like those visuals. The one in the center, I wish would disappear faster because it doesn't disappear. Shoot it! Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> what? No way. The desperation saves are awesome in goalies this year. I'm in. Nice save by Webb there again. So getting the groove back. And I don't like that it sucks me back to the goal line. In what world does the goalie... Oh, my God. These passing plays. In what world does the goalie get sucked, like, go back to his goal line on every single shot? Like, I wish you could turn that off. I don't... I don't like that it just draws you back in. Just something I'm going to have to get used to. I love attacking. I love playing at the top of my crease. A little weird. What a what a sequence there. Yamamoto up to McDavid. Anytime this guy... And he gets absolutely flattened by a big shot there. Litchfield's having a game. Putting the body on people. He scored a goal. Did you hear Sabalski there? He's it's like, calm down, dude. Full pressure. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. Get it on net, boys. Ah, they did a good job clearing it. You see the boards all turn red. 
it's an interesting uh interesting concept and i think it i think it can be very cool i think it just needs a little bit of polish here we go 12 minutes left in the second period 2-1 hockey game still getting some shots against now evan bouchard they got they got some of their top guys i don't see dry i don't see uh, uh i mean they're not playing their main goalie second line's pretty much not there at all another big hit boys are laying it down Zadarov, the big defenseman. Oh, McKeg's playing. Passes it back to McKeg. Ryan. All right. Nice clear again by the boys. They're really, they're really helping me out early in this one. And right now, I mean, for preseason, my only, my only objective is just trying to get on the coach's good side to have a chance of being a backup goalie. If they make me the starting goaltender, I think we've won the absolute lottery. For me, like I said, great save, pass it out, cut off that player, and beautiful. I think being back up for season number one will be uh, the goal. Oh my gosh, this goalie is absolutely robbing us right now. Who is this young kid? Give him a chance. Pulak coming down the ice. I don't like... I don't like this thing that sucks you back to the goal line. It feels so awkward. Tried going around him there. Letary out in the front. This goalie is having a game. Back to Letary. No suitor. Sutter. All well. In with all sorts of... Oh, man. Could have dished it across there. Letary was in prime position. Woo! I mean, they're making it easy for me right now. Full pressure for the second time. Look at this. Oh, why would you try and dish it back to the front, man? Good clear by Edmonton once again. We haven't really utilized this. Uh, haven't really utilized this this full pressure system that they've gotten yet. Much would be much different if I was playing. Could try and keep it in, make some plays, but playing goalie, you really kind of just sit back and watch to see what the computer can do. Down to two minutes, 45 seconds here. And I mean, boys are, team teammates got my back in this one. David back on the ice. He hasn't been on for a while here. And like, I mean, the magic's already stayed. Let's hold on to that one. Caught me a little high. Puck was bobbling. Let's just keep this under control for now. <clears throat> Five fields on the ice. It'll be fun to watch. 16 saves so far. You love that. Whew. Minute and 10 seconds in the second period, and we have a pretty solid hockey game on, on display here. 2-1. Power play goals are the difference. I love all the advertising for the NHL shop. Jesus. Hey, there's the mascot on the left there. I actually don't know what LA's mascot's name is. Slid all the way across there to Rob Hyman. Make the play. Probably not the smartest thing with McDavid right on our heels, but time left in the period. One more chance maybe for the boys. Good Byfield sneaks it through five hole. At the end, that's got to be literally a second left in the period. No way he just squeaked that through. Now at 20 minutes, and there's literally no time left on the clock. Just gets the puck back, gets bobbled off by Evan Bouchard, and the puck squeaks through the five hole. No way off his own leg and in, and we now have a 3-1 lead. Essentially, in going in, there's 0.4 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Let's go, boys. Let's keep it up. Keep it up. See if we get to play the third period. I might get yanked. It is preseason after all. Looks like we're back out. Beautiful. Thanks, coach. Well, we got a 3 1 hockey game, 20 minutes of gameplay left. Boys are doing a good job. It's a good showing here from LA. And. Hmm. I mean, crunch. But would that have been enough to break the glass? Seems a little weird. I like that the feature's back. 
353 to 243. That is some good puck possession by the boys in black uniform. Fresh ice. I mean, our defense is looking like studs right now. Nice pass through the legs to McDavid. I wonder if Bedard got drafted by Chicago in this game, which he should have. I wonder. I want to know what kind of damage he'll do in his first season in this game. I said, watch, watch that Chicago Pittsburgh game last night. Second period was was really fun, really entertaining. Did Connor McDavid just get a penalty? Wow. Yeah, it was good. I thought that second period, I thought he showed all sorts of potential. I think the first couple shifts, he looked a little nervous, especially going up against Crosby. But once he settled in, I mean, he was taking so many. He had like 10, 10 shot attempts in the second, by the second period. Some good ones, too. That passing play was actually, you know, a lot of people say, oh, God, bounce right off our own player. And he tipped McKegg, tips it in front of the net. Shorthanded goal by Edmondson here. Oh, no. My pass attempt went off. That is so unlucky, man. Great save. I go to bounce it to the player on the left there, and it hits Zadorov's skates. Goes right back to the point, and McKegg tips it in past us for the second goal shorthanded. Oh, you hate to see it. I tried making a play to the guy on the left because we had all the space there, and Zadorov was right in front of me, and I hit it off his skates. Dude. Uh, you don't like to see that. I mean, things happen. You roll with it. Sucks that it was a shorty goal. Coach probably not gonna like that one. Let's let's make it a nice safer play this time. God, that sucks, man. But King's coming back. Fancy's having himself a game. I mean, he's had a lot of scoring chances against him as well. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh well, we still gotta we still gotta lead. We just gotta stay composed. I think in my very first be a pro as a goalie back in the day, I think I got drafted by the Nashville Predators. I remember it because it was the first time I ever decided to play goalie in one of these games. Um, I got drafted by Nashville. That was back when their jersey was the mustard yellow with the sideways, uh, whatever it is, saber tooth, tiger, predator. Uh, and... I was a backup goalie for the first two or three seasons. It was a lot harder to get to the roster spot in that game. Shoot it! Oh, my gosh. Then, uh, by season four or five, we started developing into a really good team. We made the playoffs. I remember my first first ever be a pro as a goalie, Nashville. By season four, we made it to the first round and got beat in the first round. And I remember I was pissed because I, I know a stupid goal happened to determine the series. And then the next season after that, I believe we won. We won the cup. And I had the chance to sign a long-term deal. And I declined it and went to Carolina and won the cup with Carolina two seasons later. And then I retired back in Nashville. It was a pretty, it was a pretty epic career. I've had other careers where I've just straight up picked Toronto and we've done shit. <laughs> uh, I've... Who else have I played goalie for? I don't think I've ever played goalie for LA in any of the NHL games. I've been goalie for Chicago. Another great attempt there by the boys. So this will be fun. This will be fun to see if we, you know, if we can develop with LA and make some runs or if we decide to leave LA after a couple of years. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see. And I think as a goalie, you don't play every game or at least I shouldn't be the starting goaltender. If I am, great. I doubt it though. So just trying to make the team right now. Yamamoto. Another great save there. Follow him across. Tried going back on me. Got the pad in the way. I feel like this is a great first game. I, again, I know it's preseason. Doesn't mean squawk, but just trying to make the team. We gotta we gotta do our best. I probably won't play every I don't know if I'll get the start in every preseason game. I'm hoping I get enough to at least try and make the roster. That's the big thing here. It's a good first game though. 12 minutes left, third period. McDavid with the puck. I gotta think he's gonna try and do something flashy here. Hyman has had a game. And we got another penalty, oh boy. Well, we got a big, big task ahead of us, boys. We gotta, we gotta, this is it, this could be the turning point. 
one way or another. Get that one out of here. Nice blocker save out into the crowd. Another whistle. <clears throat> Enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. Quick feed to Broberg. Woo, nice block. And he clears it. Oh, he almost had a break there. He almost had a step behind the defenseman. Nice glove save. We're on a penalty kill. I'm not going to play any stupid pucks. Number 60 looks all right in this jersey as well. I know the few people out there. I think I was watching Nasher. He's usually 61. He decided to play for Columbus this year. Obviously, Rick Nash retired. He says 60 is the most abysmal number. But for a goalie, I think it kind of works. Oh! How did that happen? How did that? What? No! How did he get that puck? Oh, it went right to his stick, man. Got hit and yeah, that's a good goal. I mean, my I'm just my goalie's not fast enough to react to that. I also personally couldn't even help react to that because I didn't think that when he got hit, the puck would go right to the stick. Unlucky Browns. I mean, that's I said the the penalties are what's doing us in right now. We got to get better at uh, being a little bit more disciplined here. Team like uh, Edmonton, even though it's preseason. Oh, off the blocker, off the post. What a save. And now, come on, boys. We're falling asleep out here. <sighs> clutch time, baby. Coach has asked me to clutch up. We got to do it. Holy crap. What is happening? We're falling asleep out there. Come on, boys. Wake up. David with the puck. And I and I thought a Connor McDavid goal was coming here early. And I mean that's just that's some good hard battling by Edmonton. I I mean, I'm in position, he just beats me over the glove. Like that is a Connor McDavid goal at a Connor McDavid time, yeah. Maybe a little bit out of position. Not really though. Just beats me clean. What a snipe by Connor McDavid to get the Edmonton Oilers 4-3 after such a dominant first two periods by the boys. We just kind of fell asleep. We fell flat. There's been a lot of turnovers. McDavid had a burst of speed there, and he does what McDavid does. Ooh. And all of a sudden, our great game, all of a sudden, it just doesn't look quite, quite amazing anymore. Yeah, I mean, two goals and assists by uh, number 97 there. That's what you expect. That's what you expect. It ain't always going to be pretty as goalie, and you guys are going to see the ups and the downs. I feel like I'm still having a great game. We've made some clutch saves, but you give you give that man too many opportunities, and he's going to beat you more times than not. Block that one. Shot it a little wide. Take the angle away. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Our team just has fallen like... Dubois is almost offside there. Not really getting good looks. They've, uh, they're looking like the Edmonton team with that first first line that I would expect to see from them. They're back on the ice again. Still in it. I mean, we got five minutes left to try and pot another one to tie this thing up. Trying to do the cheese. Skate right to left and then throw it to the opposite corner. Ain't going to work on a human goalie. Get out of here. Oh, boys. Start, start, start making some passes. There you go. There you go. Cody Cece taking it away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why is my guy flopping? Is that because it... Oh! So I wonder if that, because the puck got poked on his first attempt, my guy did a, a desperation save. I didn't press the desperation save button. That would that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a 5-3 hockey game. That would have been it. Probably going to get yanked here in a minute for the extra. So we're going to stay on the right side of the crease here. 
I'm assuming coach is going to pull me for the extra man. Maybe not. Oh, dude, our boys are asleep. Pull me, coach. Get the extra man. Get off the ice, you slow poke. Oh, that's a goal. We're going to watch out the last 26 seconds. Extra man on the ice. Dubois with a nice play to Byfield. Byfield in the slot. This fancy kid has, has showed up. Well, hey, I think I, I mean, maybe a, maybe a little bit of my fault on some of these. That goal by McDavid just beat my goal. Like, I'm a 70 overall goalie. That shot's going to beat me nine times out of ten. Come on, boys. One more chance. That's game. That's game. Oh, he... Shoot it! Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. First preseason game for the LA Kings is in the history books, and we have finished not bad. I mean, we had 31 shots, you know, save... 27 of them. It's not horrible. It's, you know, Connor McDavid had a goal and assist. It's a, it's a big night by the, the, the young man. I'm happy with it. A B plus overall. Not bad. I mean, we could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. I, I still think we had a lot of clutch saves there. I like that the shots were pretty even by the end. I get it. You know, looked a little overwhelmed. Maybe a little stage fright playing in his first NHL preseason game. But let's not write the kid off after one night, right? Yeah, I'm happy. Let's it's not the, the greatest. It's not the worst. Just a little bit longer than what? One game? I think we're going to have to play most All of these right? preseason games, though, guys. Uh, I'm not quite. Yes, it didn't go smoothly <laughs> for him. It's no, going to be tough. It's going to be tough to crack a lineup as a goalie. Perfect. But I like like, well, the first preseason game is over. Maybe it wasn't the greatest nice, but how'd you feel on the ice? I think I still need to get used to the rhythm of the new team, but I'll work harder on the next. Yep. Do you think you have a chance to make it the final or Oscar? Yeah, I just need to focus on depth. Yeah, I, I just said, I think we'll make it, but we're going to have to play some more preseason games. So that'll probably be it for this video. Uh, get things kicked off. Pick our, got drafted to our new team. A lot of this video was just getting that introduction done, creating our character. But hey, first, first I, I said from the start that it was going to be tough to get back into these controls. Uh, I'm not disappointed in the stats. I am a little disappointed that, you know, the team really didn't, you are not starting tonight, okay? No problem. With Coach Lashoff. Tell me I made the team. I'm Michael, I need you to step up and improve your game. I'm not 100% sure you'll make the cut. Sure, Coach, I'll secure the net and help the team win. Bring your sucks. My oh, God, no. I'm looking for a goalie I can trust. Earn that spot. Like I said, it's going to be a dog grind, baby. We got we to gotta earn it, win the next game. So that is our, our only objective. I don't care what the stats look like. Well, I do because I want a better chance of winning or making the cut. We got to win the game. And we are playing. We are playing. I believe we're starting against the Sharks, which is quite doable. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm look, going to I'd mute like James Zabalski here because he's annoying me. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you like the start of this new uh, series. I, I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, but I'm excited to dive back into an NHL game. It's been a long time. I do like the changes. It's just going to take some time to get used to it. Uh, but that's all. Make sure you guys like and comment on the video. Let me know who you got drafted to. Let me know what you like and dislike about the game. There's positives and negatives from what I understand. There's there's a lot of changes that, that people are getting used to. Um, turn on that notification bell. We got so many videos dropping this month. Not just for NHL but for like five other video games. Trust me, October and November are going to be huge for the channel. So make sure you stay tuned. That's it, guys. Thanks again. Once, once again, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll, we'll continue this journey in the next video. Thanks, guys.